Welcome everyone to what is going to be the uh, the second Grand Prix of, uh, of Silverstone that you've going to see in recent memory. This is Psycho Enigma, and this time I've uh, I've upgraded myself from a Williams Renault, and I'm now in a Ferrari. And uh, I'm pretty sure for, for this segment I I fell asleep at the controller, or I was doing something rude with my hands, or I was eating. I'm probably doing one of those th one of those three things because that's what I tend to be doing, other than making really crappy YouTube videos for you guys to watch. But hey, anyway, um, enjoy the engineer screen and um, apparently my race engineer for the next three, two, one. There he is. That's Bob. I like Bob. Good man. Moving out onto the grid. Eventually. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. Move it. Fantastic. So, there's a HRT in pole position. And there's me in the uh, in the lead Ferrari, and there's another HRT on the grid. And believe me when I tell you that this race goes a lot worse than the other one. You can tell that this is from the same sort of lobby because we've got Turgen the Kurgan TK08, um, who was in the previous one, and we've started in sort of the same position or same side of the track and this does not go as well as it did before because in the Ferrari we turn in there's a random HRT on our left or our right whatever direction that was and anyway we've been we've been completely taken out look at that look at the hell was that about that was a uh, of course bullet for brides who I know I've, uh, I've mentioned him before in the previous Formula 1 video so he thought it'd be fun to do that in, in his mind he was probably defending his position. That's an inside joke. Basically, he will take you out and he say, oh, I was defending. Yeah. If I had some examples of our races, I would show you. I don't know what happened to me today, but I think what I'd done is to, um, I think it was probably getting near payday. I'd run out of money. I must have sold my driving skills to some, some form of monkey because this, this is shoddy so far. Anyway, we're, right, we're lining up our ideal equal, equitation, equitation, equilibrium, equa, aqua, whatever. Anyway, someone's gone completely wrong and felt like coming out of the pits. Mr. Freaky Fungus, we're coming side by side into Maggots and Maggots. Oh, what the hell? Dude, if there is a car on your inside, especially the Fawawi, you do not take it out, I assure you. And during this video, I actually happen to have a, uh, a bottle of water with me because during the last one, I could feel my throat dying. Uh, I'm doing all my voiceovers in a bulk. Um, as I mentioned before, I was free on a Saturday, so... Anyway, we're looking to line up Mr. Freaky Fungus. We've beaten him on WWE. And look at this. This Ferrari, you can tell I haven't set this thing up. This thing is a pig. Absolute pig to drive. So we've beaten Mr. Freaky Fungus on WWE. We've beaten him in mental debates. We've beaten him in arm wrestling and pie eating and all of a sudden drinking contests. Actually, he doesn't drink, so we haven't done that. Do I win by default on that case? Anyway, we're storming it down the inside of him. I'm fair on the brakes. I don't want to take him out. I've left the door wide open for him to take me. I've gone wide, and there he is. He's on the inside. Ferrari versus McLaren. The Ferrari power. The Kurz has won it for me, and I'm up into third. Third place. And there is a a, a mile-long gap between myself and second. I can guarantee he's almost going for me. That's why I took the slightly tighter line, and that's why we've run out wide. And there he is. We come back on, and I think he was he was taking the normal racing line. I pushed him out wide. That was That was not good driving there by me at all in the slightest but anyway we power through woodcut corner down the old start and finish straight coming up to cops corner dropping it yeah we, we started taking that a bit tight i would admit that's a slightly illegal line through there xpg angry big or angry pig or whatever seventh gear through the third part of uh of maggots and beckett's i believe that would be the beckett segment like the first bit of it but proved that we got pushed out wide and we are now yeah, we're behind, and this 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 could be dull. Letting in a lot of my F1 races do tend to be dull. I'll try and come up with something intelligent to say. Penguins. That's all I can come up with in that short space of time. Anyway, this is more so much now as a driving test for us in a car that's completely not set up at all. Let's try and just do a decent lap and not screw it up with our appalling driving. XPG Angry Big. It just posted a fantastic lap. I almost took myself out with the Armco there. That would have been, that would have been suicide. I would have at least torn off my front wing and my front wheel, and, and I'd probably be upside down somewhere. 
thinking, what is wrong with my life? Anyway, moving on, it's the third lap. Mr. Freaky Fungus is still behind us. And we're just rolling along in this Ferrari quite nicely. We're going to deploy our curves. And I, I just, for some reason, when I'm just on my own in the race, I think, let's try and set the fastest lap. And whenever I go into that mentality, something always goes wrong. A lap, I will do one good lap, and then the rest will sometimes be absolutely appalling. And I cannot physically remember for my life me if this is one of those amazing laps or somehow I'll screw it up and finish last and have a badger stuck to my face. I don't see how that's possible. I mean, the badger could be stuck to the helmet, but maybe not my face. Anyway, <laughs> maggots and Beckett's, I don't even know where that came from with the comment about the badger. That's horrendous corner cutting. We, we more became, you know, a Ferrari-branded lawnmower. They probably sell those, actually, in, uh, in Fiorano. They're probably about, you know, knowing Ferrari, what they do is, you know, you buy a Ferrari, they'll try and sell you a crash helmet and a, and a wristwatch that match the uh, lovely kind of interior colour of your F99. Your F99 and your F Formula 5. Don't care, Vale. Um, the flag is taken by the Kurgan TK08. We've gone horrendously wide again, and we'll cross the line to finish a distant third. That lap wasn't fantastic, but it was the quickest lap of the Grand Prix, so who knows what I could have done if I'd actually managed to get it right. But hey-ho, at least we didn't come across any badgers, or hedgehogs, or other wildlife. It was sunny at Silverstone, there's a rare occurrence. So, do you know what, I have no idea when this will be uploaded, so enjoy it when you watch it. Bye!